Okay, Paul, could you tell me about this box you made? I had an old father-in-law who showed me all about dovetails and I wondered what I was going to do. So I had this saw and I didn't have a box for it. So I thought a project for me would be to build a box for my saw. And I built this box and I had to use these nice dovetails. So this is all a dovetail box, nice big thick dovetails. I philosophically deviated from the plan of what Alan showed me. So I use nice big chunky one inch dovetails and it's really beautiful and a very solid box. Does the, but the main thing is, does the saw fit in? The saw fits in, it does. And it's really a simple idea because the saw fits in and no more. There's no way, I have to finish it actually and get it to get a little backstop to it. But their saw sits in perfectly. Beautiful. And uh, it's always a trade getting the wire in in every box, but not so much in this box. You just throw it in here and then you just throw this down on top. And these are some old hinges I had, like a little pull open, some little glass straps on the side. And it sits down nice and the, the saw fits in and no more. And what happened when you first put the saw and tried to use it? Well, the saw didn't work. That was a problem. <laughs> really disappointed. I thought I was going to have to make a new box <laughs> because I had a box for a saw and I bought a different saw. <laughs> not fix the box. So anyway, that was a that was a whole other story. But thankfully, the old saw worked, and it's really simple to take it back out again. Just pop it straight up, and there you are. Beautiful, great, beautiful job, job Paul. Yeah, I approve. Oh yeah. <laughs>